I guess the demon craps almost got what they want. They almost got what they want. If Trump had not have moved, if he had not have turned his head, it would have been a direct headshot. But yet, there's a lot the surrounding this that don't seem quite right. Now, you see what Breitbart had written regarding Biden. Biden told donors it was time to put Trump in the bullseye. There were celebrities that was calling for Trump's demise. Why aren't these people investigated and held accountable? Now Biden stood up and gave a little talk. Of course, I don't believe it's sincere. And he was talking about going to see Trump this evening. Now, if I was Trump, I would want by nowhere near me. Why would you want someone near you that was wishing for your demise? Why would you want someone to visit you after they finished trying to assassinate you and now this same person wants to come and visit you in the hospital where there's a quote out there where he says time to put Trump in the bullseye now there's some witnesses that claim that they saw the shooter with the weapon and they tried to warn Secret Service and police and they were ignored now as a veteran myself it does not seem right where was Secret Service and why was this guy allowed to be on a roof in the prone position in plain sight and I say plain sight because there were people that saw him even when after the Secret Service had put a bullet allegedly in his head people were standing there looking at him so why didn't the Secret Service see that so I, I, I think that this is all a part of the design. It's all by design. Dead men can't talk. But dead men can talk. Now if the right investigation was done, the dead man can talk with evidence that might have been left behind. But this was an inside job because when I first heard those shots, my first thought was, that's pretty close. Those shots were close. And the first shots I heard sounded like a small arm. It's, it sounded like a small caliber weapon. It almost sounded like a 22 that was fired. But it was close. If Trump had not have moved his head, he would not be here today. But Secret Service and law enforcement allowed that to go down. This is my opinion. They allowed that to go down. And if that assassination was successful, they would have silenced the shooter that was more than likely hired to do or put in the work. That's why he was allowed to position himself on a roof, direct target to Trump's head. It was a straight target to Trump. And yet, 
the surroundings, the perimeters were not secured, was not completely secured. And even when alleged witnesses saw that and was pointing to the roof, to Secret Service, no one paid it any mind because they knew what was going down. They knew what was going down. And after, if that shooter had been successful, they still would have silenced the shooter. And notice, there's no news reporting, to my knowledge, that identified who that person was or even contacted that person's family to investigate to see if there was any type of notes that was written, any plans that were uh, that's somewhere hidden. They didn't go back and research to find out who is this person and where did this person come from. And you know what? The people that's rejoicing the most are tethers. I find that to be quite interesting. On TikTok, you have tethers that's rejoicing about what happened. These are some very evil people. I spoke on this in the past. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know in the past, I've done a video of a vision I had of Trump being assassinated, but YouTube removed that video. So this is not by coincidence. The Democrat party know that Trump, see, they can't steal this election like they did before. See, they can't do what they did before. So now, since everything they tried to do failed, even convicting him of felonies that he didn't do. See, they wanted the right to be able to say, oh, he's a felon, he's a convicted felon. And you have a lot of so-called black Americans that's fallen for that. I don't want to hear nothing if one of your loved ones get gunned down by police or if any one of your loved ones were unjustly convicted. I don't want to hear nothing about discrimination, racism, or how unjust the system is because you support what they're doing to Trump. You may not like him, but does that mean that he have to be assassinated? What did he do to earn the right to be assassinated? What did he do to be assassinated? And the wording I want to use is not coming out right because this is all sudden. You know, I was I had just woken up and a family member of mine came and showed me that uh, someone had made an assassination attempt on Trump and um, I watched the video and then I happened to see blood on the side of his face and I'm like okay the round must have was must have buzzed his ear man it, you know grazed him but had he not turned his head they would have gotten a headshot and Trump wouldn't be here today just by the grace of God man he's here but I find it interesting that Maxine Waters came on the scene again because the only time she come around is when she's trying to get black people to vote. And every single time black people fall for the trick. They fall for the okie doke, man. When are the so-called black Americans going to wake up? Every single time. All they have to do is stand up and say, oh, he's a convicted felon and, and he wants to take away your democracy and he wants to take away your right to abortions and he wants to take away this and he wants to destroy education. And how many black Americans are really into education? A lot of y'all are skipping class and the public education system pushed a lot of your children through the system 
just so that they would graduate because had they not have done that, they wouldn't have made it through. Because modern day black American children are not encouraged to get their education. They're not pushed to get their education. They're more encouraged to hang out on the street corners, sell drugs, get on social media and, and, and show off their naked body. Only fans page. They're not encouraged to be successful in life. So the Democrats, all they have to do is make you an empty promise that they never fulfilled. And what's sad is that black people have been so bewitched that they don't even realize that this is the same trick that's played on you every single election time by the same people and you're in the same rut. And after they finish doing that damage on you, then all they got to do is say, oh, it was the Republicans, the one that, that did it. They're the one that's keeping us from doing that. Although they have the House, the Senate, and the White House. Biden is able to send your tax dollars to Ukraine to fund the illegal migrants. Pay them every month. They get a debit card. They get put up in plush hotels. They get free health care. Everything that the Democrats have been promising you every single election time, and you never received it. But yet, they're giving it to the illegal migrants. They're sending your money over to Ukraine. And for the Israel war. And y'all are out there protesting, supporting Palestine, and these same immigrants will come here and curse you and tell you how you're not going to get reparations. No reparations for you. But they're your tax dollars that you can't even share in. Look at the roads that you drive down. A lot of y'all hit potholes. You always have to get your tire replaced. The city's not gonna pay for that. Your tax dollars are supposed to go towards the roads. But that's off my topic. But I just find it interesting, man, that Biden came out and said that it's time to put Trump in the bullseye and this happens. So who was this person that they quickly silenced after they allow him to take a shot at Trump? They allowed Trump to be assassinated. They allowed this shooter to take a shot at Trump and then they were going to end. This is a movie that's, that's, that's similar to that and I think it's titled Shooter. Like, hey, they went to this dude that was in Iraq. He was an Iraq vet. And they went to him and was like, oh, we want you to go. And he was a sniper. And they said, we want you to go set up because, you know, somebody's, you know, planning on killing the president. And we want you to um, to go and kind of scout out the area and tell us how you would do it. Right. And he didn't realize that they were setting him up, but he prepared himself. Right. And so somebody did make an attempt on the president and they tried to say it was him that did it and all through the movie they were trying to assassinate this dude well I think this is the same thing that took place today Secret Service and the FBI knew exactly what was going on the justice system the injustice system has been weaponized against Trump now, I almost guarantee you, watch these charges all of a sudden go away. Now that an assassination attempt was made on Trump, watch those, um, those court cases go away. Okay? So, I just find it just, just weird, man, that the justice system allowed that to go down. And if that dude, whether that dude was successful or not, his life was going to end because dead men can't talk, right? Dead men can't talk. So they hired that dude to take out Trump. He failed. They took him out so he can't talk. 
Had he been successful, they would have taken him out to keep him from talking. If you look behind Trump, there was a dude with, uh, there was a sniper that was on a higher platform in back of Trump, pointing in the direction of like where the shot came from. The minute, if you watch him, the minute those shot rang and Trump grabbed his ear, then the person that was on the roof behind Trump, and I don't know how he was able to, he didn't see him before those shots were fired. Then he decided to fire and take the dude out, headshot, allegedly. So there's a lot of stuff that's not right. We already know what's going on with that. And Biden talking about he's going to see Trump. I wouldn't want Biden nowhere near me. I wouldn't want anyone from the White House anywhere near me because how do I know you're not trying to put something in my water cup? You know? Biden can't be trusted. Democrats cannot be trusted. They can't be trusted. No Democrat can be trusted. None at all. I don't care if it's your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your wife. If they're a Democrat, they can't be trusted at all. So this was all by design. Dead men can't talk. And they just silenced that dude. They silenced him. So they're just going to say, oh, he was a shooter. But we all know where that came from. Until next time, I'm fearless.